Namaste students. Welcome back to the course Knowledge and Curriculum. We are proceeding into this fifth unit curriculum practices and currently we are now in the fifth, second module of fifth unit. Here in this module we are going to learn about the subject wise instructional objectives, pedagogical aspects of subjects, instructional aids and materials, evaluation and feedback. Here before you Dr. V. Girija Professor and Head of School of Education from Wales Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai. The prerequisite of this module, every student must have the foundational understanding of educational principles, awareness of diverse life learning styles, context in the curriculum implemented and all that. And the objective of this module is commitment to ongoing professional development and in be informed about the trends, readiness, trends and readiness for engaging in curriculum practices. Let us go on to the module now. Subject wise instructional objectives are specific measurable goals that educators aim to achieve in a particular subject area. These objectives guide lesson planning and help ensure students require the necessary knowledge and skills. If you have a specific subject in mind, I can provide more details in, in the instructional objectives for that subject. Instructional objectives for teaching language which can encompass various aspects including language, arts, communication skills and literature. Let us look into the reading comprehension of the, uh, I mean the instructional objectives of a reading uh, comprehension. The students will demonstrate the ability to understand and interpret various types of texts including fiction and non-fiction. Students will apply strategies for extracting meaning, summarizing and making connections while reading. Let us look into the instructional objectives with respect to writing proficiency. The students should develop effective written communication skills for different purposes including narrative, expository and persuasive. Oral communication. The instructional objective should be should focus on making the students to effectively express themselves verbally and demonstrating clear articulation and to appropriate use of language. Students should be engaged in group discussions, debates and presentations. So all these uh, should be taken care of whenever the teacher frames the instructional objectives in teaching English classes. And developing the vocabulary expansion. If the teacher intends to develop the vocabulary among the students, her instructional objective should uh, concentrate in expanding their vocabulary and apply words in context and enhancing their ability to express ideas precisely and students will use context clues and other strategies to determine the meanings of unfamiliar words. Let us move on to the literary analysis now. Students will analyze and interpret literary works, identifying elements such as plot, character, development, setting and theme, and students will explore the cultural and historical context of literacy. literary. Now let us move on to media literacy. Students will critically evaluate and analyze information presented in various media formats including digital text, images and videos. Students will develop the ability to distinguish between reliable and unreliable sources. When looking into the research skills, the students will conduct research using a variety of sources citing information accurately. Students will synthesize information from multiple sources to support their written and oral presentation. Critical thinking and creativity. Students will engage in critical thinking, problem solving and creative expression through language. Students will demonstrate originality and imagination in their written and verbal communication. These objectives serve as a foundation and can be adjusted based on grade level. Language focus that is English language arts, foreign languages and curriculum standards. Teachers often customize these objectives to address the specific needs and goals of their students. Now 
let us look into the instructional objectives for teaching social science. Every teacher, when she teaches social science, when she develops the instructional objectives for her lesson, she must look into the, all these aspects that we are going to discuss now. The students will be, should be able to demonstrate the knowledge of key historical events, timelines and historical figures. Students will analyze causes and effects of historical events and their impact on societies. And moving on to the geographical knowledge. The students will understand and apply geographical concepts including the study of maps, regions and the physical features of the earth. Students will analyze the relationship between geography and human activities. Let us move on to civic and, civic and governmental understanding. Students will gain knowledge of governmental structures, systems and civic responsibilities and students will understand the principles of democracy and citizenship. Let us look into the economic literacy. Students will comprehend basic economic principles including supply, demand, market systems, economic decision making and students will be able to analyze economic systems and their impact on societies. So these should be the focus in any teacher's mind when, whenever the teacher uh, prepares to teach social sciences lessons to the students. The teacher has to, when she frames the instructional objectives, she has to keep all these things in mind like uh, historical literacy, geographical literacy, economic literacy and so on. Now let us move on to the cultural appreciation which is very very crucial in teaching social science. Students will appreciate and respect diverse cultures, traditions and perspectives. Students will understand the impact of social cultural change on societies. If any teacher whenever she frames the instructional objectives of teaching social science, she must develop the students critical thinking and analysis for which the teacher should know that after learning the lesson, the students should be in a position to critically evaluate historical sources, arguments and conflicting viewpoints. The students should be in, uh, able to analyze social issues and propose informed solutions. And the teachers must, must not forget about the research and information literacy. Students will conduct research using various resources, including primary and secondary materials. Students will effectively communicate research findings through written and oral presentations. With regard to, again with regard to economic literacy, students will comprehend basic economic principles including supply and demand, market systems and economic decision making. Students will analyze economic systems and their impact on societies. Cultural appreciation as we have discussed earlier is very important and very crucial whenever the teacher uh, uh, frames the instruction objectives in teaching social science. Students should be in a position to appreciate and respect diverse cultures, traditions and perspectives. Students should be able to understand the impact of cultural exchange on societies. Critical thinking and analysis which is very crucial so the teacher has to take utmost care in while she develops the instructional objectives in teaching social science. The students after learning the lesson, the students should be able to critically evaluate historical sources, arguments and conflicting viewpoints. Students should be able to analyze social issues and propose informed solutions. And the teacher must not forget about the to develop the research and information literacy among the students when she teaches social science. Students will conduct research using various resources including primary and secondary materials. Students will effectively communicate research findings through written and oral presentations. So this should be in the mind when, when, whenever the teacher frames the instruction objectives for teaching any lesson especially the social lesson which we are discussing now about. Then about global awareness. The teacher should keep in mind that the students should develop an understanding of global interconnections and the impact of world events or different regions. Students should analyze 
or will analyze the global issues. This should be in the mind of any teacher whenever she frames the instructional objectives of teaching as any social science lesson. Let me move on to the science lessons. Any science teacher, whenever she plans to teach any science lesson, these are the instructional objectives that any science teacher should have in her mind before she frames the learning experiences to the students. That the science teacher should not forget that any every student, every student who learns science in her class should develop scientific inquiry and processing skills. So she should know or she should understand that after delivering the lesson, the student should be in a position to demonstrate an understanding of the scientific method and apply it to investigate a scientific phenomena. Students will develop skills such as observation, measurement, data collection and analysis. And about the content knowledge, students will acquire a foundational understanding of key scientific concepts related to biology, chemistry, physics or earth science. Students will be able to demonstrate knowledge of the interconnections between different scientific disciplines and critical thinking and problem solving is very important for any students, especially the science students. The teacher should not forget that the students after learning her lesson will be able to sh or should be able to analyze and evaluate scientific information and arguments. Students should, will be applying their scientific reasoning to solve problems and make evidence-based instructional objectives for teaching science. So keeping all these in the mind, the teacher should frame the instructional objectives for any lesson she proposed to take, take for the students. Science and Society the students will understand the impact of scientific advancements on society and the environment. The students will be critically evaluating ethical considerations related to scientific discoveries and technological applications. Let us uh, look into the communication skills. It is very important for any science teacher to develop communication skills among the students because the students should be in a position to effectively communicate the scientific ideas and findings through reports, later written reports, presentations and discussion. Students will use appropriate scientific vocabulary, will be in a position, should be in a position to use appropriate scientific vocabulary and articulate the concepts. They should also develop the interdisciplinary connections. So, so after delivering the lesson, the students should be able to recognize connections between science and other disciplines such as mathematics, technology and engineering. And students should be in a position to apply scientific principles to real world situations. The environmental awareness should be developed to any science students. After learning any science lesson, the students will develop an understanding of environmental issues and demonstrate responsible attitudes towards the environment. Students will explore solutions to address environmental challenges. And these are the above objectives provide a framework for science education and can be adapted based on grade level, specific science disciplines and curriculum standards. Teachers often tailor these objectives to meet the needs of the students and the goals of the curriculum. Let us move on now to the instructional objectives of teaching mathematics. The numerical operations which are very very essential for any students in learning mathematics. After delivering the mathematical concepts to the students, the students should be able to perform basic mathematical arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division accurately and efficiently. And the students must develop mental math skills for quick calculations. Let me move on to the second instructional objective which every mathematics teacher should keep in her mind when she devises the instruction objectives of teaching any mathematic lesson. She should develop the problem solving skills among the students, even in teaching, the, uh, if, uh, in teaching mathematics. The students should be able to apply problem solving strategies to solve mathematical problems in various contexts. Students should analyze and interpret mathematical information to make informed decisions and she must develop algebraic thinking among the students. Students should be in a position to understand and apply 
algebraic concepts including including solving equations and inequalities students will use variables and expressions to represent mathematical equations and any mathematical teacher when she plans to teach uh, geometry she should understand after teaching geometry to the students the students should be in a position to identify and describe geometric shapes and their properties and students should solve problems uh, involving area perimeter volume and angles and the teachers should also understand that the students should be able to interpret data and um, uh, interpret data using statistics the students will be in a position to collect collect organize and interpret data using graphs and charts students will make predictions and draw conclusions based on statistical information so any mathematical teacher when she proposes to teach statistics she should give the uh, um, i mean the importance importance of learning uh, statistics on learning statistics that she should um, teach or tell the students or motivate the students that if they could able to analyze the data using the statistical uh, techniques in future they will be able to to interpret the data and they can make predictions and draw conclusions in whatever the problems they are given with so if we are going to educate the students the values that they are going to learn after what we teach now they will be uh, motivated to learn whatever we teach and then let me move on to mathematical reasoning students will develop logical reasoning skills and justify mathematical solutions students will use critical thinking to analyze and evaluate mathematical arguments and uh, i mean the according to national education policy 2020 technology integration is very much important and any teacher should um, include this technological integration objective in any instructional objective that she frames in teaching any mathematics lesson so after teaching whatever the mathematical concept that she has planned the students should be in a position to use technology such as calculators and computer software to enhance mathematical understanding and problem solving now let us move on to the instruction aids and materials to enhance learning experiences any teacher uh, we have so far we have discussed about the instructional objectives that the teacher should have in her mind whenever whatever the uh, teacher teacher say the science english or uh, mathematics or whatever it is she should also never forget to properly utilize the instruction aids and materials to enhance the learning experience to uh, reach the goal or objective of whatever she has on teaching any lesson so the curriculum practice should itself involves the use of instruction aids and materials to enhance learning experiences and these instructional tools support educators in delivering content effectively instruction aids include visual aids like charts and graphs and audio visual materials such as videos and hands on materials like manipulatives aids serves as a unique purpose in catering to diverse learning styles and promoting engagement the key is to align these aids with learning objectives ensuring they and reinforce the curriculum and facilitate comprehension in the context of cur curriculum evaluation assessing instructional aids and materials is very crucial begin by evaluating their alignment with learning objectives and ensuring they enhance the desired outcomes consider their relevance currency and appropriateness for the target audience and effectiveness is measured by student engagement and understanding and the teacher should seek feedback from both educators and learners to identify the strengths and areas for improvement regularly updating and refining instructional aids based on evaluation results ensures they may remain effective and contribute to successful learning outcomes now the lesson plan is a curriculum used by the teacher in classroom the lesson in each piece of curriculum or designed to help every style of learning and support students with varying emotional and behavioral needs the day to day lessons and activities should always support the learning goals 
articulated by the curriculum. Students appreciate understanding what the learning goals are and how each lesson brings them closer to understanding.